What up, YouTube? Puff Bear 359 All right, fellas, uh, got a 100-package mail day. Uh, it's going to be a quick one. <laughs> uh, maybe not, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to get rocking today. Uh, I'm not going to be too social with you all. The highlight of this video, I guess, there's a bunch of highlights or whatever, but is uh, I bought a lot of cards on uh, eBay, L-O-T. Um, I bought a 20-card lot of National Treasures basketball, NBA. So that's the highlight of this uh, lot. So if you like National Treasures and you like um, the NBA guys, um, beautiful shit. So let me get to that in a minute. But uh, I already opened some of these to save some time. I'll leave this uh, this one for kind of last. Uh, here we go. Um, Ray Rice, number 25 for my Red Refractor set. Uh, I got the uh, Rick Upchurch for the Broncos. Um, 2006 Upper Deck Legends. And a Craig Morton, Upper Deck Legends autograph. Both are autographed. I got those for a buddy of mine. This is uh, the snow that we're having in uh, Connecticut. Uh, this is a snow card. <laughs> um, some, of, some of the packages I opened, some I didn't. So uh, just bear with me. I am uh, I'm moving along today. These are just fillers from this guy. These are two fillers. Who cares? Um, but I bought these for a buddy of mine too. Um, Craig Davis, red level, not numbered from Sage. And then I got this other one, uh, Craig Davis also, Aspire Football, uh, which is also Sage. So uh, two Craig Davis autographs. I got that for a LSU fan. Um, got this here. Uh, Joe Thomas, I bought this for a YouTube, fellow YouTuber as a gift. But the thing is, I love this shit when I say that because nobody knows who it's going to. Uh, but this is a very nice card. Uh, 2007 draft, NFL draft, rookie threads. Uh, Joe Thomas of the Browns, draft day, Inc. So there's this card. I want to see if it's numbered. I thought it was numbered, but uh, no, it's not numbered. So whatever. So there's that card. Another uh, snow card. It's the two feet we got the other day. Uh, another eBay purchase. I've uh, been real busy at work. Well, not really, really busy at work, but kind of been busy with a lot of shit. But uh, anyway, uh, National Treasures. This is not the National Treasures I'm talking about. This is a card I had. 25 of 39. Uh, 25 of 39 for Willie Parker. Um, Colossal Jersey. So there's that. This is for trade. And... Stupid cat just came downstairs. All right, this card I want to take out of here. Um, oh, shit. This card is beautiful. Got this for my Teixeira PC. Uh, it's a duel from uh, 2004 Sweet Spot. Sweet Sweet Threads Duel. Hank Blaylock and Mark Teixeira. And I don't know if I have to say anything about this card, but it's numbered uh, 41 to 60. Just look at that. Awesome. Freaking awesome. So, love that shit. Very nice. Hey, get out of here. I got my freaking uh, chowder. My cat's playing with uh, freaking, uh, got in a bag of, a bag of popcorn there. These guys. I got a bag over there, a box over there. Little popcorn kernels, packing peanuts. And he's freaking playing with them. So anyway. Alright. I bought these three lot. I bought these together on eBay. Um, Scott Lawson from uh, Donruss Elite Extra Edition 2010. This is number 7 of 50. Uh, Shane. Sorry. Sean Tollison. Number to 815. And Daniel Tillman. Number to 816. So. There we go there. Those are for the rookie card autograph PC I got going on. Or. That I collect. Uh, this is from not a fellow YouTuber, just a buddy of mine. Actually, it's one of my guys I work with. It's one of his sons that's a big fan of the Puff Bear. Uh, he loves coming over and looking at the card room. Uh, this is from my buddy, Nicky P. So I stopped over his house the other day, and he had a Yankee Stadium Legacy for me to give me, which is really nice. Um, and then he also gave me a uh, Hideki Matsui Refractor from Topps Chrome. So that was nice. So shout out to Nicky P. Thanks, buddy. Going to have to get you some penny sleeves, though. 
because you can have to put penny sleeves yeah and your oh the chrome one does have a penny sleeve so whatever we'll take care of that later anyway uh next we got uh, oh now i got packages i haven't even opened yet so uh sorry for that all right um Mario Williams, Tools of the Trade. This card took a long time getting here. Uh, 43 of 50 from Absolute Memorabilia. Nice package. Got that. Another eBay purchase. And I got a car. I got a, I got a package here just because from Covelli Cards and a couple other YouTubers. Uh, this is just disgusting. Uh, 31 of 50. Um, Tony Gonzalez, piece of the uh, Falcon logo, probably from his shoulder, I would imagine. Um, but uh, that's just sick. Piece of the Falcon, excuse me, Falcon wing. Very, very nice card. Next, I think I'm going to have to get my scissors. I got my scissors. Yeah, I got some YouTuber stuff in here too. So, like I said, I'm trying to hurry up because. I got mixed reviews on my 23-minute video from the other day. I mean, I you know, I don't really care, but um, another National Treasures product. Um, Jarrett Dillard, rookie wide receiver, National Treasures autograph, number 58 of 99. Yes, I'm a little under weather. But, uh, you know, I think I bought this card, honestly, guys, for 76 cents. I really honestly want to say that. And I just bought it because I'll throw it in a mystery pack or whatever. So, anyway, can't beat. I buy shit like that all the time. This is from Do Not Bend. Nice. No clue what this is. Oh, nice. This is uh, uh, Mike Allstott. I started collecting Mike Allstott all of a sudden. And uh, for those that don't know, for baseball, everybody always thinks I just collect Yankees, but I don't. I also am a big Albert Pujols collector and an Ichiro collector for those uh, that want to know. So, and a little Jeff Bagwell too. But I bought this uh, Mike Allstott insert. I just, I thought he was nasty. as another guy that doesn't know what a fucking goddamn uh, penny sleeve is. Son of a bitch. That burns the shit out of me. I was at the card show the other day. Uh, two card shows ago, and I ripped a guy because he had a uh, top. He had a Bowman Chrome refractor in a top loader without a penny sleeve on it. So I, and I ripped. I ripped him out. I said, "Dude, you want me to buy that that scratched refractor that you got in there?" So, anyway, so this is just an insert card of Mike Allstott, seventy-seven of forty uh, four hundred. So, anyway, so there's that. Throw that in the garbage. Put a new top loader on that. And penny sleeve. Uh, next, don't know who this is. Uh, I said it once. I say it again. If you guys want to see what I look like, because uh, I don't know, there seems to be some outcry to know what Puff looks like. Go to blogtv.com and uh, just type in Puff Bear three five nine. Look at my blog channel, and you can see how good looking I am. That's all I gotta say about that. Not as good looking as. Not as good looking as DeLorean fans. Oh, I know what this is. This is a four card. Um, Lou Gehrig. Another asshole. Do, you, I'm, I'm, do I have to buy the world penny sleeves or what? Oh, this is not good. This is supposed to be a Lou Gehrig four card lot and he gave me three cards. Unless there's... Look at that. One. Two. Let me double check in the package to see. One, two, three. Nope, nope, nope. So he jipped me a card. So I will definitely jump on eBay on that. So let's put that envelope out of the garbage and off to the side. So this is supposed to be a Lou Gehrig four card lot and he sent me three cards. So I guess I lose, but no, I don't because I always get back on eBay. I'm a negative feedback leader, lever if I have to. Call it like it is, buddy. Um, okay. No, I, I always try to work things out, you know what I mean? But uh, 
I don't like to get screwed. Uh, Rolando McLean, Red Refractor. Uh, I will do an update uh, video on my Red Refractor sometime next week after I got a couple more coming in the mail. I'm pretty upset upset because I just lost. I, I was bidding on a uh, Brett Favre one that I thought I, I bid high enough, and I obviously didn't, and I wanted to win that one, so I'm pissed off about that. So what are you going to do? This is uh, another eBay purchase. Um, hockey, um, Yari Curry, uh, I saw this card, uh, had to have it for the hockey PC, I was a big Edmonton Oilers fan back in the uh, 80s, early 80s, um, when they were winning, uh, I just knew everybody on the team, SCA, uh, you know, they had great Edmonton Oilers teams from 79, 80, 81, 82, Grant Fuhr, Messier, Yari Curry, uh, all those guys, so... Paul Coffey, I used to love watching the uh, these guys play ESPN back in the day. So, uh, Yari Curry as an Edmonton Oilers, just is just a nice card, five or six bucks. I bought this for, and I just like I said, throw it in the uh, hockey PC. So, that's it. Next, Jeff the Box Breaker. This is a just because for Jeff the Box Breaker uh, trade with Covelli Cards and another care package gift from ML Foster. So uh, we're gonna get to those in a minute. 11 minutes. Uh, I got this also on eBay. This is ridiculously nice. Um, this is the... This is what year? 96? Let me see. Let me see. 1997 Pinnacle. Serial numbered 1163 of 2053. It's handwritten, obviously, right there. Uh, I just put this in the um, thick-ass magnetic just because... Um, this is a Barry Sanders 97 Pinnacle Inscriptions. And down by my hand, that's an autograph right there. So I put the white behind it. Uh, it's one of them clear cards, see-through cards. So I got the uh, white here, the paper, just so you guys could see it. So that's for the old PC up on the wall, Barry Sanders. I did not have a Barry Sanders autograph, so I do now. So hope you like that. Very nice card, I thought. Um... Uh, I think I paid fifty dollars for it in an auction. Fifty-two dollars in an auction. So I thought that was all right. Probably not the best Barry Sanders autograph to to, uh, to have, um, but uh, I have it. So there we go. So uh, um, I, I think I'm gonna put a, a white, uh, put some snow behind this, so you could see it better. But I don't know. Anyway, put that off to the side, and uh, then we'll get to. Oh, let's get to the national treasure cards real quick. Let's make these guys wait. That sent me some stuff. All right. This lot of cards I, I, uh, I bought on eBay, and I think I spent $70 on it. $70 plus shipping. So here we go. Um, Jeff Teague, dual patch, number two, 25, 24, 25. We got a Gerald Henderson, number two, 49. Gerald Henderson, number two, 49. We got patch, 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 triple patch. Right there, beautiful card. Um, another Gerald Henderson. This is number 249. It's the patch, patch, patch version with the autograph, as opposed to the one I just showed that doesn't have the autograph. Uh, another Jeff Teague. Uh, this card's number 249. Autograph, dual patch. This card is sick. All these cards I'm going to show you guys are just terribly, uh, retardedly beautiful, so... There you go there. So these are just great. Um, and then now we'll... All right. This card, don't add... Guys, I'm doing basketball mystery packs, actually, too, uh, in the next week. So some of these will be in the mystery packs. But uh, let me know if anything's... This is not for trade. This is Wilson Chandler, my Knicks. So uh, this is a prime patch. Number two, 25. 23 of 25. Beautiful card. Uh, Ronnie Brewer. Number two, 25 also, autograph of the Grizzlies. Rodney Stuckey, number to 25, nice-ass patch. Vince Carter, number to 25, the Orlando Magic. I know somebody that likes the Magic. What's up, you fag? Uh, number, 20, number to 25 also, Derek Brown of the Bobcats, prime patch jersey. 
Um, also number to 25, Rudy Fernandez of the Trailblazers, Prime Patch. Carl Landry, what's up, Bayer Platinum? 22 of 25, I know you don't like him anymore because he's on Sacramento, but he used to be on Houston. Anyway, this is uh, Carl Landry, Prime Patch, number to 25. Uh, UConn alum, somebody just PM'd me and asked me if I had any Rudy Gay stuff. Well, I do now. Well, I have some Rudy Gay stuff, but here's a Rudy Gay, 1 of 25. Serial numbered 1 of 25. Rudy Gay for the Memphis Grizzlies, sick-ass patch. UConn alumni. Uh, TJ Ford, number to 25. Autographed jersey. Chris Kamen. For, uh, number, this one's number to 49. 19 of 49. Chris Kamen of the L.A. Clippers, autographed jersey. Uh, DJ Augustine of the Charlotte Bobcats. This is number to 99. DJ Augustine. Another DJ Augustine, also number to 99. So I got two of them here. Uh, one's got the gray stripe going through it. Um, and this one's uh, just got the uh, plain white. Carl Landry again. But this one's got the autograph on it. Um, number to 99. Auto jersey. Jeez, uh, I don't even know how to say this guy's name. Um, Andre Aguadala. Is that his? Aguadala. Um, piece of the jersey. Uh, autograph number to 90, 49. Number to 49 for that one. Uh, Baron Davis. Autograph jersey. Number to 99. Uh, another Carl Landry. This is the third one I have. Two autographs. This is number to 99 autograph jersey. Uh, the Sacramento Kings. And Daniel Green. Just an autograph. Of the Cavaliers number to 99. So for 75 bucks, I think it was. I think 80 total with the shipping. I got to say, if uh, give me a thumbs up if you think that this National Treasure lot was a deal. I'm saying yes. But uh, that's just me. So I'm definitely saying that was a deal. So beautiful for me. I'm happy about that. Okay, so moving on. Um, I'm going to do Jeff the Box Breaker first. Um, let's see. Um, Jeff, uh, just because. Boom. Um, Jeff the Box Breaker. He did mention something. I think I know what this is. So I'm going to have to hit you back, Jeff. I, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Yes, this is what it is. Um, Jersey Pants. Of uh, Boomer Esiason. Jeez. Um, can't even see with the glare. Um, you can see my uh, Old Navy shirt I'm wearing. Now I'll tell you that in the background. Um, numbered 1 of 50. So very nice, Jeff. Um, Jeff, I owe you some cards anyway. Um, so I'll, say, I'll hit you up, buddy. So thank you very much. That's Jeff the Box Breaker. Young kid. He sounds like he's uh, 14, but he's really 41. Um, ML Foster, Michael. I sent Michael some uh, Upper Deck Heroes from 2008. I got a, I got a bunch of uh, Cal Ripken cards going out to you, buddy. Don't I did not forget about you, so I don't want you to think I did. And he sent me a um, shirt off my back from the movie Ray. Nice. Uh, got some Yankee got, got some Yankee cards in here. We got a uh, package from Covelli cards next. I'll kind of thumb through these first because uh, we're already at 19 minutes. Yeah, I'm making Paul. Oh, nice uh, Bernie there. I'm making Paulie C. Wait. Giambino. Thank you. Oh, Donnie Baseball, I see right here. Nice. Todd Stottlemyre, Milt Nell Stottlemyre's son. And nice. Uh, some nice Yankee base from back in the day. So that's from uh, Michael ML Foster. Thank you very much. Like I said, I do have a package coming out to you, Michael. Um, it's all Ripken shit, so I appreciate it. All right, next and last, uh, we have uh, Forget About It. Uh, from Paulie C., Covelli Cards R Us. I don't want to show his address because you guys might go over there and uh, hang out with him. I think uh, this is a trade we did in a just because kind of a mix. 
So uh, I got a note here. Note, ha. Uh, just wanted to help out with your sets. Hope you like it, buddy. Your friendship is greatly appreciated. Polly C, 101 for the win. Put that in the uh, YouTube PC I got going. You guys all know that. Oh, yeah, and Paulie, I got you a text message the other day. Uh, the cards I sent you, uh, those four cards in that Jeter plaque, um, those, yes, are all refractors. But uh, you will, I will talk to you before this uh, video actually goes on the air. Because actually, as soon as I get off the phone, after I get off the phone, after I get off of making this video and uploading it, I got to get ready to go to work. Uh, and when I do that, I will talk to you. So this was for our big trade. That's a beautiful card. Oh, my God, I love it. And we have from Pauly C. What the hell, man? Are you kidding me? Dude, what are you doing, man? Oh, look at this guy. Oh, jeez. See, this is not what I expected that you were going to give me. Jeez, Yankee Stadium Legacy cards. Man. Nice Jeter. Nice. Bucky Dent. Old school Bucky Dent. Nice. Man, this is great. You know, when I do complete this set, guys, I got to say, and thanks again, Paulie C, man. I'm rooting for your Packers, by the way, in the Super Bowl. Um, I'm going to have to thank like 100 people for helping me with the Yankee Stadium Legacy set when I finish. And I'm going to have to go back and watch all my videos because I got, I got, there's 30 cards here. So 25, 30 cards. Paulie C, thank you. So all the stuff I sent him, and uh, he sent me the Yankee Stadium Legacy cards, and then this in a trade, and this is, yes, if you can read, you can see it. Um, pieces of me triple memorabilia from Ichiro, Cal Ripken Jr., and Frank Robinson. Bam, look at that. I'm going to say that's the Emerald version. <laughs> um, jersey, Jersey, Jersey. Five of 18. 5 of 18, this thing's blowing up over here, look at it. Uh, Ichiro, Cal Ripken Jr., and Frank Robinson, so uh, very, very nice. I'd like to know how they got that, these three, why they picked these three together. Because you got a center fielder, a shortstop, third baseman, eh. Hit, hit leaders, uh, no. Oriole, Oriole, I don't know. Uh, oh, all-star MVPs, well... Uh, you could have put three Orioles together. Anyway, I'm um, sorry, right, guys. So that's from Paul E.C. Paul, I love this freaking card. It's going to go up in my case. Um, cool. Very much like it. Card's in excellent shape, actually. Excellent shape. Love the uh, Yankee Stadium Legacy cards. Thanks to uh, M.L. Foster. Thanks to um, Jeff the Box Breaker. Again, to Paul E.C., Paul Covelli. Um, eBay. All you guys saw the shit I bought. And, of course, uh, all these national treasures for basketball. I will be doing mystery packs. Um, and I'm going to say, if you're sticking around to the end of this video, they're going to be high-end mystery packs for basketball. And there's a Kobe Bryant autograph in the mystery packs coming up. So, all right, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you. Another puff uh, half-hour video for the win. For the win. So uh, I'm going to work, and I'll talk to you guys. And Puff Bear is over and out.